Okay, so I thought we, for today's video, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison when it comes to colored pencils. A lot of you are always asking me whether it's on my Instagram or if it's on other videos, what colored pencils do I use? I only use one type of colored pencils and they're called Prisma Color Pencils. So that is what I'm currently using on this Hey Hey. You see I have two Hey Hey's. So I have this Hey Hey that I'm coloring with my Prismacolor pencils. Now I have more Prismacolor pencils just because I started off with a small package and then I eventually just kept adding on and on. So I started with a 24 pack of Prismacolor pencils. Now what's the difference between Prismacolor pencils and Crayola? colored pencils. You're probably wondering. Well, I started with Crayola colored pencils, but then when I got more serious into my art, I asked if I could get a package of Prisma colored pencils and my parents went and bought me some for that year of art. Now, the thing about Prisma colored pencils is they are soft core Prisma colors. So that means they almost have the effect that oil pastels would have. They blend in very well together. They're a very creamy kind of finish and you can see that how it on this hey hey on his feathers how well they're all blending together and the colors are so vibrant. So it they're just wonderful pencils to work with. Now, like I said, I started off with a 24 pack and then I grew on by going and buying, I think it was like a year later, I went and just purchased another 48 pack of Prismacolor pencils, combined those together, and then I just kept growing and growing my collection with more packages because within time, the more pencils that you use Prismacolor, yeah, I mean, it just, they, they do go pretty fast just because they are a softer lead compared to Crayola pencils so you use it up more especially on the type of paper you're using the paper I'm drawing hey hey's the hey hey's <laughs> on right now they are on Bristol board so I I strongly encourage you if you're going to do like a colored pencil portrait to make sure you buy like Bristol board this is smooth Bristol board by Strathmore um, I buy everything from Michaels or Hobby Lobby but I was at Walmart yesterday and I saw that for the back to school special that a package of 24 prisma colored pencils soft core were on sale for $15 at Walmart so if you live in the United States of America and you have a Walmart near you oh my gosh go right now because it's like a back to school deal and I remember when these 24 packages of prisma colored pencils they used to cost about $30. Now, it's just amazing for me to see them for so cheap. It just makes me want to buy a package, <laughs> even though I have so many already. But what, what you can do is that Michaels and Hobby Lobby, if you have those by you, they have individual pencils that you can go up and buy. So you don't have to buy a whole new package of Prismacolor pencils. They sell individual pencils by themselves. So even if you just need another color to replenish, then all you have to do is go to Michael's and there they are. They are all sold separately. You don't have to buy a package, so you're not spending so much money. You're spending about, mm, I think they're like $1.79 a piece at Michael's. So let's talk about Crayola colored pencils. Now, when I was younger, I used Crayola colored pencils and I'm not, I'm not bashing them. I'm not saying they're cheap, but they're definitely a cheaper alternative to Prismacolor pencils. I mean, not as much anymore because when I bought my 24 package of Crayola colored pencils that you see me, you, I just showed them, uh, it was like a $5 difference. So they were like $10 compared to the Prismacolor 24 pack. So that's, that's a really awesome deal. I mean, it's a $5 difference now, and that's not what it used to be anymore. But when I was in high school, and then I started taking art seriously, I started off with Crayola colored pencils. I love them. I mean, you're looking at Hey Hey that I'm using right now. They blend well. The only downfall to Crayola colored pencils, I mean, they're bright, they're beautiful, they're awesome to work with. They just have a harder type of lead. So that means it's kind of hard to put like layers on top of layers with them. I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of layers. So you have all have known. I feel like that should be a t-shirt or on the side of a mug or something for me. This is layers on top of layers. So I was able to put many layers on the hey hey to the left, but 
For the Hei Hei on the right, I wasn't able to put as many layers because it was letting me shade on top of it, but at the same time, it just was like capping me off and saying, well, no, this is a harder lead. It's a bit more waxy. So it wasn't really letting me layer in shade. Like if I put a, a shade of green down, it wasn't letting me come back with a darker shade of green and put more on that. So it was really hard to layer with Crayola colored pencils. But you can see them side by side. They're both beautiful. Both beautiful results on the feathers. I mean, the Hey Hey with the Crayola colored pencils, he's not as bright and dark as the Prisma colored pencils, but you can see they're both awesome. Both aw like, not my drawings, <laughs> but the quality of the colored pencils, they are awesome. So it's just like it, art supplies. A lot of people like make a huge thing about art supplies. They can't make good art unless they have the top notch art supplies. Well, I'm just here to say it just, it, the, the really expensive art supplies is not what makes good art. What makes good art is you practicing every single day and you actually trying to progress in your artistic ability and in your style. Practice at once a day, all the time. That's what makes good art, is you as an artist. You make the good art. And the way you practice and the more you pursue your art career, that's what's going to make good art, not the art supplies. So here comes the big question. Can Crayola colored pencils work on toned tan paper? I use toned tan paper for a lot of my colored pencil drawings, and I only use Prisma colored pencils on them. A lot of people are probably wondering, why aren't my Crayola colored pencils working on the toned tan paper? It's, they just, it's probably just because the type of the lead that Crayola colored pencils have. With the Prisma colored pencils, they're very much like oil pastels. They're a soft core, so they have a softer, creamier type of lead. So they look amazing. So I'm using the pink and purple star is Prisma color, and here comes the Crayola colored pencils. It's not as vibrant, it doesn't show up as well. Even when I was putting more and more layers on top of my colored pencils, on my Crayola colored pencils on the toned tan paper, it just doesn't work. And I think it's slow, solely on the fact that it's a different type of lead. So that's why I highly suggest if you wanna give toned tan paper a try and to do doodles on top of it, I would really highly suggest that you go and get some Prisma colored pencils. And the $15 package of 24 pencils at Walmart, you can't beat that. I know it might be expensive, but still it's a great investment and then growing your collection from there. Prisma colored pencils, is, they are a dream to work with and I highly, highly suggest you get them or there's Faber Castell pencils. Um, I'm a huge fan of Prismacolor just because they were my favorites and I grew up with them all these years. So it's been eight years since I've been using Prismacolor pencils. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the insight that you have both of these Hey Hey's. You have Crayola on the right and then Prismacolor on the left. They're both beautiful. It, it doesn't matter about the art supplies, but if you ever want to see a side-by-side -side comparison, here you go. I hope this was helpful, and I really hope you have a good day, and I really hope you'll go and buy some Prismacolor pencils. I'll see you all later. Bye!